Hello everybody and welcome back. It's me, Cork, and today we're playing more Stardew Valley. So, uh, let's see here. Last time we left off, we're on day four. We didn't make it very far. So I guess watering, talking, all that fun jazz. I guess general farming. I think I've said it before, but what I like to do the most is fishing. Um, we eventually gotta clear out this farm and actually get that going. Do I have to water these? I don't know. Can I fill up here? Yeah, salt water should be fine. I'll still water them just in case. Oh, we eventually need to get the new backpack too. I don't know if I ever said it, but uh, checking these trash cans is actually, it can help you out. And get you some stuff that you don't usually get, like bread and you know, stuff like that, bait. Um, I'm not too sure fully what the spawn list is for trash, but don't pick up trash whenever you're near somebody. Because like, at that point he was pretty far away. But if you're near somebody and you, you go to pick up trash, they'll be like, ew, gross, and it'll, it'll drop your uh, relationship with them. A pretty good day for spring onions. So I haven't decided whether or not I'm going to be doing the Jojoa route or not. I know a lot of people don't like it. It's just, to me, it's the fastest, and I'm not entirely too, too sure on how long I'm going to make this series, so... Yeah, I kind of just want to do the Jojoa route. Or Jojoa, however you pronounce it. You know, something that I just remembered, because this whole series is basically just checking out the 1.5 for the most part, and I completely forgot about the new door in Willie's. Do I have to be at a certain relationship or something, or does he, like, talk to me later? Best case, I'll just give him a fish. I guess I'll start building up, a, well, unless he sells something on the front. Nope. Alright. Those fishing tanks are new, though. I don't remember seeing those. But, uh, I guess we're just gonna fish around and... I guess try to raise our hearts with him, too, because... I do want to check out that new area that got added. Flounder, that's a new fish. I don't remember ever seeing one of those. Alrighty, so I looked it up, and uh... To get to the Secret Island, you have to complete the Community Center, or the Joe's Mart uh, quest line. And then you need five Iridium Bars. Oh, well, after that you'll receive a letter stating that the back door has been unlocked to Willie's place. And then you'll need five iridium bars, five battery packs, and 200 hardwood. So I guess that's going to be our goal for now, is to get to that new island, which is called Ginger's Island, or Ginger Island. And it's going to be a long time before we get there, because we need air a lot of money. Got to get the 200 hardwood. Ugh. Got to upgrade all of our, all of our stuff. It's gonna take us a minute, but that's fine. We'll we'll do it in increments. I like these these little bubbles over here. If you cast there, you usually get better, better fish, which I kind of can't anyways. Cause I'm full as it is. So we're gonna go. We're gonna drop this stuff off. Uh, in the chest and in the cell box, and then we'll just keep going about our day, which is actually almost over, so I guess we'll probably just go ahead and go to bed. Alright, it's officially Friday. The good thing about Friday- oh, got a letter. Okay, so now we have access to the cave, which is really awesome, because that's a thing I like to do is- Mining is pretty fun. So we will... First, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the... 
the cart that shows up every Friday and Saturday and see what they got. Uh, on top of that, we can also, I think it's $1,000 to get the first backpack upgrade, so we're also going to go do that. I think. And then, do some dungeon crawling. Hmm. Shouldn't have anything I needed this time around. But, uh, if you ever need anything to clear the community center, I would usually check with her because she does sell a lot of stuff that is required for the community center. Alright. It's always fun waiting to get into the stores. It's 2,000 gold. We don't have enough. Shoot. There we go. Now we do. Purchase. Sweet. Now we're going to go up to the mountain. We're going to talk to the old crazy guy that stands outside of there. Or inside of there. Get our first sword. And we're going to start doing some mountain climbing. Or not mountain climbing. Sorry. Dungeon crawling. Yes. And we already know about this. He gives us a sword. Yada yada. I need to organize. Uh, I want the sword here. There. Perfect. I want the sword close to the pickaxe that way. Oh, to get over here, you just need a cherry bomb. Or upgrade your axe. It's, or pick. It's whatever. But I like to have my sword near my pick so I can just... Pew, pew, like that. Should have checked my luck. I got geode, so that's not too bad. We haven't found our staircase yet. That's not a good sign. There it is. They add new music to the mines. I don't remember hearing this song. I have put a lot of hours into Stardew Valley. Um, I unfortunately lost my old save file because I initially started on the Switch like four years ago, three years ago, something like that. And my original save file had over, over 500 hours, I believe, into it. I've never heard this song. It's also another reason why I suck at using a uh, mouse and keyboard. That's a new thing for me. These areas are nice. You usually get some stuff depending. Which we got a little bit. I, I hit defend. Fuck you. Excuse my language, by the way. I have a very foul mouth, and I'm trying not to. It's really hard, though. All right, no staircase so far. There it is. So every five levels of the mine, I believe it is, you get a... Uh, Elevator. Maybe it's every 10. No, it's every 5 you get an elevator. Every 10 you get a new item. A new item. Yeah, so bing. Turn a little bit deeper in the mine. Reach level 40 in the mines. That's easy. I can get that done in my sleep. Speaking of which, we actually need to go to sleep. So we're going to go home. We're going to throw all this stuff in the respected areas and go rest for the night. God, I wish I had this thing up and running. It's so much faster to get home. We didn't get anything sellable. It's fine. Uh, what's our... What's our fortune today? Somewhat annoyed, so... Probably not a good time to go into the mines. I still want to, but... What the hell do you want? 
Those broken rocks, finding ore. Yeah, I know. Actually, I don't know. What what was that? Craft a furnace. It's like 10 slimes get a reward. Or, not reward, but... Starts that whole... Journey's Guild thing. I don't know if I'm still supposed to be watering this or not, but I'm gonna keep watering it. It said harvestable in six days. Alright, back to the mines. You can go digging a little bit deeper. I do like dungeon crawling in the mines, it's pretty fun. Yeah, I know they said their the spirits were annoyed today. But so far it's been good luck. I've gotten a ladder almost every first try. That was actually pretty good. I hate these things. Sometimes they give bombs. That one didn't. Oh, also you can dig in here and get some stuff, like uh, cave carrots, and I, th I believe the dwarf scrolls and stuff like that, depending on what level you're on. Cherry bomb! It's gonna be helpful. I mean, not really, but I'll show you why here in a little bit, once we leave. Oh, also, you can knock up these if you want them. Actually, it's just a little something you can do if you want to keep them. One of our first uh, gems right there. Let's see what what is this one? Like sapphire or something? Amethyst. Cool. So with these ones, you can actually t like the amethyst, the uh, topaz, that kind of stuff. You can take them to Gunther at the museum and donate them to him. After 60 items, I believe it is, you get. Something. Uh, you get the key, I believe, to... I want to eat this real quick. Yes. Yum. You get the key to the underground area where you can talk to Krobus, which, uh, the, the, the sewers. Krobus is pretty cool. Uh, he has some decent items, like the return scepter, which costs two million. I believe, or 20 million. What that does is no matter where you're at, you can use it to go home, so you can like, dig all the way down to the depths of the mine, as in the hell, you know, 130, and then swing that bad boy in your home. It's pretty nice. Oh, if I could find a ladder at any point in time, this would be nice. No? No ladder? That's fine, I didn't want one. I didn't want to get to level 10 and get the item and get an elevator, nothing like that. No. Finally. Bing. What do we get? Got boots. Boots that are made for walking. Which we'll just slap those on. Go ahead and head back to the surface world. Head back home. I don't think anything we got is sellable. So we'll go ahead and just go throw all of it in the chest. Because you want to keep stone and clay and... What do you do? Weirdo. You want to keep stone and clay and all that stuff. Because they're building materials. You want to keep the topaz and amethyst and... Diamonds, stuff like that. Just come buy at least one of them. So you can get them to Gunther. And obviously, you know, you want to keep the copper because you can upgrade your equipment with it later on. Oh yeah, I, oh, we dug this up. Uh, chicken statue, which another item you can give to Gunther. Uh, from those three little winky worm thingies. But I forgot that I said that I was going to show you guys something you can do with that cherry bomb. So we're going to go back to the mines so I can show you guys that. 
Oh, hey, I didn't know that your beach gave you uh, shells. That's actually really cool. Hmm, interesting. All right, one thing you can do with this is set it here. And it blows that away. And you can get over here and talk to the dwarf. Now you need all four or five of the dwarf scrolls to be able to talk to him. What is that? One second. What is that? Oh, I wish I still had my mod so I can walk through walls. Interesting. I think it's probably stored assets. So, uh, looks like one of the in game stuff that you can do. I'm trying to remember. Uh, I think the witch's hut, whenever you get there, I don't know. I don't know. That's just speculating. I, that's what it looks like, though. But that's interesting that it's stored there. Never would have guessed. Oh, level up one in mining. Now we can craft cherry bombs. And it's a new week. So that means it's now Sunday. We can uh, start giving more gifts out to like Linus and uh, <laughs> Liga. Oh, cool. You can build me a well because it's a convenient place to refill your watering can. It's not like I have that and this over here and a pond in the middle and, you know, no, no. That's not ready yet. But, uh, yeah, we're going to go back over here and look at this side. I really need to clear out more. Paths. Since now we know that this area over here gives us shells, which is really cool. Which I actually don't see any. Oh, we can always get shells from the beach. That's fine. I'm not doing anything inappropriate. the only person that does weird stuff like that, right? Except our poopy flowers. Yay! Hear any banging inside my hut? It's probably just me working on one of my sculptures. That's, is that what they call it nowadays? Working on sculptures? Horrible joke. Sorry. Uh, thinking now for the rest of the day we're probably gonna fish. We need to earn some more money, and fishing is about the best way I can think of it. And plus, I want to go try out this dock over here that we have now. Because I don't know if this dock will be providing better fishing or not, but it never hurts to try. Which looks every time he catches something, and he actually tries to catch it. Like, once it goes up to him. Let's see if I can get it to do it again. Well, it does it every time, but... Come on, get a fish. Don't make me look stupid. Could be leveled up again to fishing. Our bar is a little bit bigger. All right, watch his face. Ah. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> ah. Oh, I didn't know we could actually fish up shells from our beach. That's that's new to me. 
Alrighty, yeah, we did level up in fishing. So another day, another couple hundred dollars, hopefully. Eh. I would ex I would have expected better, but that's fine. But I think this is about the time I'm gonna say I thank you all for watching. Um, I don't know how long these episodes end up being before I actually until I actually edit them. So if like right now I've recorded for like an hour and a half, but the video might be 10 minutes long. So I do apologize if it's a little too short for your liking, but if you do like the video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. So that way you can follow me on my journey through 1.5 and we can discover new things about the game. And don't forget to comment down below if you have any questions or if you want to tell me anything or just want to chat. That's perfectly fine with me. I'll always chat with you guys. Thank you for watching.